Hello, and welcome back. There's a number of things going on at the moment. So I'm building modules like they're going out of fashion. And that's putting a big drain on my red circuits. At the same time, we are over here by the train stations and you can see very sad red lights here for copper. And there's a reason for this, which is that all of our copper mines are basically mined out. So this is our, look at this, we're down to this, all right. And they all look a bit like that. The copper has basically been being turned into red circuits for green circuits, all of it. Um, let's run back down, sorry, I'll get into my running suit so that we can run there before the end of the episode. All right. Let's run over here. Yeah, so that means that our copper lines aren't full. Um, that means that we aren't making quite enough stuff down here. Some of these machines are the wrong colour. Right, copper peters out in between deliveries because they really do totally dry out. Um, then uh, red circuits are sometimes backed up, sometimes not, depending on the ebb and flow of copper. Um, we're not getting the red circuits in here in the volumes we need. We certainly not get them in here. Right. This episode was supposed to be building the red circuits for the um, mega base build. Then it was supposed to be building a red circuit replacement build for this that's beaconed, uh, based around this setup. So those four machines make 14.9k, sorry, 14.9 items a second. And uh, a blue belt is 40. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so, um, so 40 divided by 14.933. So we would have needed two and two thirds of these builds. Uh, to fill up the blue belt we already have. So four of these builds would have filled up the blue belt and nearly filled a second blue belt. Um, the slight fly in the ointment is that this build uh, doesn't make enough green circuits. So uh, I would need one extra green circuit machine, uh, I think spread across the four builds. So I'd have four of this, and then five of this. But anyway, that, that's the bean counting. So that's what I was going to do today, but we're out of copper and that's more pressing. The other thing is our power. Uh, during the day we're shiny. At night time it starts to go a bit wrong. Um, so obviously our solar panels crash at night. Um, but we're getting to the point where once we've plugged in a few more modules and, and so forth, that uh, we are not going to be able to pick up the slack. So uh, I need to place down more solar fields. Let's jump out to the map. Right, while you've been away, this is the old route north, and then there was a wall that went round here, round here, and enclosed where we'd started to build the uh, mega base. What I've done, is box in this and clear everything. Oh, there's a train stranded. Don't want that it's a train stranded. Awful things could happen to it. Let's go home. Okay. Uh, so I've put in a full wall to the east. This is the normal properly defended wall. That should last until forever. Um, then I've put in a temporary laser barrier to the south of that. And this is roughly our midline. Doesn't quite go through spawn, but it is pretty close. Okay, so uh, we now have two of the four quarters segmented off. Let's run over here. Uh, this is our most recent few coppers. So this is half gone. This is about a third gone. This one here still has eight million in it, but look, it's, it's depleted, right? We've 
Um, the issue here isn't so much the amount of ore in the ground, it's the rate at which we can get it up, which is a number of miners issue. So what we're going to do now is grab in our, jump in our outposting train and we are going to set up some more copper mining. You can see here the copper's just running out by the end. Okay. And where's a good place to go copper mining? Well, yeah, that is actually a good question. So let's put this on manual because, you know, what could possibly go wrong? All right, so the first thing is, um, let's go back to the map. Okay, so this quarter we are at the moment leaving for our megabase build. I may end up moving this. Uh, I'm wondering if I should rip the whole thing up and go across the map somehow. But anyway, uh, what we need is some copper which isn't in the critical path for that. So it's basically things tucked away in corners. So there's patch down here, but that's only two million, one, one, seven, four, 13, 41. Okay, there's a 41 million patch here. It's well out of the way. Um, let's put that with a copper icon. So I think what we're going to do is drive out to here and um, set up an outpost. We basically don't have an issue with biters anymore because this is all walled in, so fingers crossed. Um, so what's the best way to get out there? Let's head up here, we'll go over the top. I'm just thinking what's the best, because the other option is to take some copper out from over here, but this is all sort of within the area that I may want to do things with later. I think that 40 odd million patch over there, we're not going to want for other things. Okay, then I'm just going to reassign all the trains which are waiting on other places uh, to pick up there. So all the copper trains which aren't... Uh, so I'll leave one copper train at each of the copper outposts. I'll reassign all the others to that big patch. And I'll try and mine it in such a way that we can queue up... Whoa! That was wrong. Let's try again. Uh, I'll try and set it up in such a way that we can supply plenty of trains. Um... Yeah, so I think the main thing I've done while you've been away, there was a little bit of belt finagling, but basically I spent the time building walls, which was dull, but has to be done, unfortunately. The other thing, I found these really weird, you can see it there, the, these ribbon lakes, and quite a few of the ribbon lakes had, um, whoops, had ribbons of um, cliffs running around them. So that was weird. A very distinctive type of geology. You can sort of see some of it here. So you've got this peninsula of land and, and cliffs running around. Um, anyway, that was cool. Okay, we're nearly there. So where's the best place to come across? Well, I'll get out my blueprint book and we will find somewhere where the um, T-junction fits because that's really the, the issue. Right, go below these lakes, because I don't fancy doing any more landfill. I've done enough of that for a lifetime. That fits. Great. Fingers crossed. We don't hit anything that needs any work. Oh, a couple of other funny things happened while you were away. Um, so some trains got eaten by biters, basically. Uh, yay, everybody loves that. Uh, which means that um, I lost the uh, I lost the things that were saying what should be uh, 
Oh, it's not a large patch, is it? It's got lots of stuff in it, but it's not very big. Um, all right, let's put some of these back. Don't need all of that. I probably, I need a bunch of these. So let's start putting them. And what else do I need? Well, let's find my mining blueprints. My blueprint books have all got a bit of a mess. Okay, so we're not gonna get very much out of this. I may have to set up a second, second miner after all. What's the best way to do this? Long ways. The other thing I could do is put speed beacons in this to try and get more out of them quickly. Um, that feels like a, it's a bit frivolous, seeing as these aren't the ones I'm hoping to use uh, for the end game. But it may be the only option. Okay, let's go back. Where's the. So what's that? One, two, three. Yeah, they're all a bit bitty, aren't they? Okay. So we're going to need more belt, more undergrounds. And put down some extra miners down here. I'm not sure this is the right way to do it. Okay, let's rip the whole of this up. I'm going to run the mining drills the other way. I think we'll get a more consistent depth on them that way. And where's the mining? There we are. And I'm quite happy to have them all starting and finishing at slightly different places. Um, yeah, that covers that whole row. That does as well. Okay, I'll make sure they go to the back and then we can fix the fronts up later. need trimming. I don't know if it's really worth it to be honest. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wonderful. Let's call that eight. We will find two to merge. Um, it's kind of these end, two end ones that want to merge because they're the, the two partials. So that means bringing one belt all the way under, um, or all the way up. All right, let's bring it all the way up. Uh, make it maximum jump, I can reroute this.
Okay. Merge that. We're going to output copper ore. Not really necessary, but makes things neater and tidier. Right, where's the best place to... I'm going to... Do it like that. Okay. Forgive the mess, I've not really planned this out, I'm just doing it on the fly. belt. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. No, I didn't want that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assuming that I've counted correctly, which I've done wrong before. What have I done wrong? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've missed one off. Okay, well, that's easy to fix. Actually, this could go straight over. All right, and that's the full distance out. We probably will shorten that. Pull that up. Take that out. We can take off that. Yeah. And then we can put in an eight to eight balancer. And then, um, hmm, that doesn't look quite right. I'm wondering if I double clicked. Let's put it down again just in case. Ah, looks better. Okay, so then it would be a case of putting in a station here to load up from eight. Do I have a, a station handy? Okay, I quite like the, the idea of loading from both sides this time. Um, give us a, that's a bit tight, isn't it? Yeah, so let's put that there. And then, um, right, in that blueprint book, did I have a load from right as well? Okay, a bit short on boxes, but I think I have some of those. So. Uh, 
That's the first one. I wonder if we've got enough reach. Yeah, we do. Great. Okay, then we can do a similar thing here. Yep. Really hope I've counted this correctly. that in a minute. Can't rotate things very easily from distance. Okay, now I had a belt already. So I need boxes. Um, I, yeah, I'm out of belt. Um, boxes. Okay. Well, this is probably... Oh, and I'm out of signals. So let's put down everything we can before we send the train off. Have all of those. Um, don't know if I want to bother with stacker. Um... There will be trains here, but they're, yeah, I'm going to need a stacker, aren't I? How annoying. Um, this half's much easier, so I just want it to route to there, but I want to do it around the mine. Ah, there's uh, cliffs in the way. Let's take them away. that down and then can we yeah we can okay put down some signals to give them a chance to exit there we are okay so the issue is joining on Back up. So I can tear up this back to there. Maybe the best thing is okay. Maybe that's not the best thing. I th I'm wondering if I can get through. Yeah, tight turn. And then from there, what's the distance? To join. I put a signal, it's gonna be a chain, I think. Oh, that does fit. So if I put a chain signal there, a real signal there, that doesn't, that's exactly one tile out. How annoying. And uh, 
there's no better place to put that. Well, let's see if this works. Otherwise, we're going to have to move something. All right, so a chain signal there. Yes, that's five. Great. Let's rip up this stub then. Don't need that. Still got all the unugly bit here. So we can put in one, two, there'll have to be some manual signaling sorted out in a moment. One, two, that's closer, isn't it? I'm going to rip that up and we'll go for a consistent spacing. So, um, yeah, so the, the plan is still to do the mega base build. Um, it's just that actually getting these things, get, keeping the base running while building it is turning out to be um, a challenge. Um, who'd have thought? I see why people do it in creative mode. Right, that's four, that's six, so that's enough. I'm not gonna have, hopefully never have the need to stack six trains here. Okay, so I can now name this DJ Brown, that's fine. So this train here, I can add DJ Brown to its stations. Circuit condition. So go to outposting, then it'll come back DJ Brown with the missing materials. All right, that's, that wouldn't have worked very well. In the meantime, let's see if we can ghost this in. No, I'll, I'll ghost it in later. All right, and I'll power it up in a minute as well because I don't want this to start filling up our useful train with ore. Um, that's it, and then we'll just need one more place down there to, to link it up. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so um, the other thing I've done is I did two rounds of um, uh, speed upgrades on the artillery, and I just want to show this because it is Freaking awesome. So let's spam some neighbors. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but the the shells are just launched, fired off so quickly now. Um, and the range is vast. Um, so where are we? I can find the edge here. So I can shoot all the way out to here from this station. Uh, that's on the manual targeting. Let's see how far that really is. Look at that go. So all the way out to there, and that is, that's about the, half the distance out for one of my segments. So about a quarter of the way across my base, I can shoot with the manual targeting. 
Um, right, so once we've done this, uh, the next thing is going to be putting down from the server, which I'm not going to do while you're watching. Uh, but I am going to have to rework this design because this doesn't have any radars built into it, which means that once this is placed down, I'm blind. Um, I can't rip up rover ports, and uh, yeah, it's just generally not a very good thing. So I'm going to have a, a quick look back at this solar panel design, find out where the best places are to put rover ports so that I can then come in retrospectively, pull out, see that's one square there. Um, so retrospectively pull out the rover ports and uh, pull out the radars and then fill in the gaps with extra solar and accumulators. Um, which then leaves a scenario where it's no longer um, no longer logistics networks are no longer contributing to logistics lag. Uh, that's the hope, really. Right, where are we with this? There we are. Thank you very much. All right. So I need some belts, and I'm going to move you out of the way because uh, otherwise entertainment will probably happen once the ore starts flowing. Okay, so I need some belts, which are in here, I think. Yep. So, for these kind of belt outposts, 400 blue belts is not enough, apparently. Um, I'm considering moving to entirely bot-based mining for the mega-based mining. Uh, so all this stuff will be de decommissioned at some point. Okay, there we are. So let's... That's the station, and this is the mine. So let's see how full these belts are. We're up to mining productivity 73. Okay, so those belts are not full. I am tempted to put some speed modules in there, but it may be overkill. We are now gonna hunt for trains. So we have an outpost here. And how many trains are on this? Two, so this one uh, before we do this, we need to rename this. So, two. And so I guess this is outpost six. Yeah, it's not really outpost, is it? Uh, so this is, uh, this is northeast. That's the segment. Copper one. Great. So we are now going to assign some trains. Uh, but first of all, let's unassign this. Okay. So this copper train can be reassigned to northeast copper one until inventory full copper outpost one can be deleted off there right i've copied that in that uh timetable so now we are going to have a look at some other trains going to other copper. There's no copper mining here. Um, oh, here's an old copper train. Okay, so this is now set. And let's send that off. Right, what one next? So that's two trains. Um, all right, do we have any trains stacked up here? Yes, we do. So let's let's set this one and allow the one that's waiting to get in. And are there going to be any other trains here? Yeah, so there's a second train here, so I think we can 
reassign this as well. Okay, this isn't that dead, although it does have three, three trains on it. Three is probably excessive. Um, that has three as well. Right, let's see here how well they fill because um, this may or may not be able to support that many trains. I may have to set up yet another outpost. Right, let's back this up because backing trains up never causes any trouble. Right, we'll just park it. Park it here. Hmm, where can we? Okay, that solved that problem. With my train being the wrong length. So are there trains incoming? Yes, there are. So this one is partly full already. Um, right, that's now gone. That was partly full. It's gone. Partly full again and gone. This one's pretty much empty, but it is full. Okay. So fingers crossed, that's now solved our copper problem. If it hasn't, I will send see if it's see if this backs up between trains, and if it does, I'll add trains, and if not, I will add speed modules. Um, right. So I think we can now. Oh, I've lost my... I deleted the wrong train station, didn't I? Of course I did. Outposting. Until inventory full. It's that one I can delete. Right, can we... Where are the trains for this? All right, they're all heading... Back at the moment, one after the other. Right, should I send any more trains? Well, why not? So, better have them backed up one place rather than another. Who, yeah, so that nothing's backed up there currently. There are trains queued here. Okay. Let's send that one off. So we're leaving just one train here. waiting. The train's been off, it's come back. Okay, yeah, so it hasn't refilled between trips. And here, this train was still filling. That's the plan. Out we get. And let's run over to have a look at the copper stations. Right, so they are not looking quite so terrible. There are still none stacked up. What on 
Earth is going on there. Oh well, better not to ask why. So this is starting to empty. And are there trains incoming? Yes, there are. There's one train just coming around the, the inside of the courtyard now. Coal being delivered. We kind of need trains to be coming up quick enough to start filling these lights up. So that means getting in um, two copper trains unloading at the same time. I could do some smarts with circuits, uh, but it would just be prolonging the problem. I don't know how long I'm going to watch this. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to video me watching this. Is kind of a different thing. Those iron trains are going coming in because when they started out from their uh, train station, uh, there was somewhere for them to unload. Uh, by the time they got here, there wasn't. Right, so that came in just in time. Uh, right, and another one. Is this going to be enough to turn on this light? Oh, four things damaged. Oh well. Ah! Um, right, let's pick this up. So, something suspicious there. They could be lone biters. We'll find out in a moment. Where are the shells coming from? All the way down there. Yeah, they are biters. There's going to be a, a long term job of biter clearing. Okay, we're up to three lights on this one. This one has put this light on. So we are filling up with copper now. So our copper situation is rescued. Wonderful. I don't know if that would have actually affected our production stats. Not, I mean, our rocket launching end of them. Uh, let's run over here. Okay, so we now have what look like full lanes of copper this far down the bus. We have um, bumped up our red production, so we're getting a trickle coming through on this lane now. Yeah, this is full. This is full. If we come up here, the extra reds haven't yet made it up here. Okay, they have now. Nearly. Yeah, so the next job is to fix the advanced circuit production um, because that's what allows us to do both research and module production at the same time, and it's kind of sad to do one or the other. That means making this build work. Uh, it'll be a belt build. It will fit within this footprint, and it, the aim is to produce two full belts or two nearly full belts of blue rather than one and a trickle. But that's going to be a job for next time. Uh, so next time we will either be doing that or we will be looking at our power situation because we're up to two gigajoules of use there and it's only going to get worse as we do more and more beacons. All right, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you again soon.